All right, Jesse's back. Hello, welcome to the channel. This is Jesse talking about the Sanctum League start that now has been going on for we're we're pretty much right at the 24 hour mark. Um, I have some thoughts. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing a video. Uh, and I don't want every single one of these videos to be uh, critiques. Uh, because this league, I'm actually having a blast. I'm having a great time, enjoying it, playing an off-meta, playing Doriani's Fist. Um, and I uh, I always, you know, have fun at League Start. Um, everything's great. So, for <laughs> preface, it's all good up in here. Just, you know, mwah, chef's kiss. This game is still the best in the genre. No other RPG really is even in the contest. It is so good. Um... Arch Nemesis change is great. Uh, I mean, I could go on and on. The The Atlas tree so far looks like great changes. Um, don't want to go back to my other video about no ascendancy balance changes. Uh, <laughs> there's no surprise what ascendancies are at the top of leaderboard. I digress. Um, I want to talk about the mechanic, the Forbidden Sanctum. So the Sanctum itself not super friendly for a build that does this. You notice that like full half a second wind up. Now that Doriani's fist slam does a pretty fair bit of damage. It's really pretty fine for mapping. It seems totally fine. I haven't, I haven't made a lot of progress. You know, I'm not like freaking killing Uber elder. I am, you know, Playing an off meta build means I'm going a little slower, but I'm I'm doing fine in my progression. In fact, I'm kind of happy with where I am. I am level 82 a day in, which isn't so bad. It's fine. Um, I'm in like yellow maps. Uh, but the league mechanic, the Sanctum, it has already been mentioned and there are already murmurs about it on the subreddit. It's just not well designed for builds that need to be close to enemies. Uh, and in my case, I think the worst case scenario is a build that needs to be a close to an enemy and a build that attacks slowly. Now, I have pretty good block. I have good defenses. I mean, I have high max res. In a map, this is completely irrelevant. If an enemy is right up next to me, if I don't block the attack, I can mitigate it. I have you know, my 15% recovered life. I'm spamming Enduring Cry. I'm Gucci. But in the Forbidden Sanctum, you don't have that, right? The whole point is that you don't have that. That if you take damage of any kind, it goes on a permanent life bar, very similar to something like Hades uh, or Slay the Spire. And so if you're a slow build, you're just kind of fucked. Uh, sorry for the language. You're kind of screwed. It's not, it's not that the mechanic itself isn't fun. I actually love it so far. It's so interesting. It's so different and new. It's so, so good. And the, the amount of depth that they put into it, people, you know, if you think back to like Harvest League, you know, people loved the mechanic because what you got out of it, but the actual mechanic itself of setting up your grove was a huge pain in the ass. This mechanic seems so easy and seamless, considering the amount of complexity. It is way more in depth and complex than Sentinel or Arch Nemesis or, I mean, I would argue Ritual, Ultimatum, Metamorph. Like the list goes on. There are a bunch of mechanics that don't go nearly as deep as this. This is really cool, really interesting. One of the best league mechanics that they've put out in forever. But I feel like I have to re-roll if I want to engage with it, which is really sad, which is really sad because I wanted to play an off meta slammer, see how far I could push it. I wanted to, you know, I love playing the different builds. I'm, I'm not trying to get an Uber Elder day one. I'm just chilling, going slow, enjoying my big animations. I even bought some MTX. If you notice, I have like a little gold man above my character and <laughs> I I feel like if I want to do the Forbidden Sanctum, I should re-roll to um I've played a lot of Stormbrand, maybe I'll do that. I've 
I don't love trappers, but I'm I'm willing to do an ice trap build if if I want to do the, the sanctum that bad. I feel like okay, I'm willing to make a sacrifice on what build I would prefer just so I can get progress in the sanctum. Because as a slammer, I would I would be stunned if I see some clips of a slow slam build a la Sunder, Earth Shatter, anything that uses Fist of War, Tech Slam, any of those builds, I would be stunned if someone breeze, is breezing through the Sanctums because it just doesn't seem like it's designed for you to be up close and personal with enemies. Um, so we'll see sometimes, you know, history has shown that they're willing to make changes. They're willing to patch things a little bit. Um, but right now I love the league. I love the league mechanic. Everything is just gravy, except that I am going to pro I am going to probably reroll. Uh, I'm going to keep pushing this guy through my maps and Atlas progression. And I make like, ten, you know, five to 10 builds a league anyways. So it's not, it's not that sad to me that I have to reroll out of this in order to engage with the league mechanic. But I do think it's definitely sad for someone like a permanent Cyclone Shockwave player. They play Cyclone every league. They play Shockwave Cyclone every league. And this mechanic just isn't for them. I think that they're kind of sad. But even Cyclone is a lot better than a slam because guess what? When I'm slamming, it's not like I can move. I can't, I can't cancel that animation and dodge. You know, I basically have to time my slams frame perfectly. And that's that's already disregarding the point that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve buttons to push. <laughs> and if I was a trapper, I literally like ice trap and maybe like two other buttons and use my movement skill and I'm I'm good. But I, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I was getting into. I love Berserker. I love, you know, Warbringer, my favorite ascendancy notable on the tree. Um, what am I even doing here? My, my tree is super scuffed. I mean, I don't even know where I'm going. I just, I went crit just recently and I'm, I'm trying to do what I've done in the past, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, I just figured I would give a little update. So hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's a nice little Saturday here. We're going to keep gaming. Catch you on, the, catch you on the, bleh, bye.